Iligan City is situated in northern Mindanao, approximately 800 kilometers southeast of Manila. Iligan City had its beginnings in the village of Bayug, 4 kilometers north of the present Poblacion. It was the earliest pre-Spanish settlement of native sea dwellers. Bayug is traditionally considered as the first settlement in Iligan even in pre-Islamic times. The first settlers, according to the oral and textual accounts, points to the Higaunons. Christianity was introduced in Bayug through the Augustinian Recollects in 1626. The spread then of Christianity in this part of Mindanao started in Bayug as gleaned from the resolution drawn by the Recollects. In 1898, Maranaos embarking on a peace talk with Spanish authorities garrison in Fort Victoria in Iligan. In later years, the population of Iligan began to sink. Another fort was built by Gobernador Sirio Rimeo Kabili and the town was transferred to its present site. After Conquera's rule, the Mindanao were left to themselves, almost to the end of the Spanish rule. With Iligan as a springboard, the Spanish troops were again sent to Marawi in 1891. Gobernador General Yolujo Despujol continued the campaign to subjugate the lake region. American forces under the command of Captain Smith who landed at Iligan City in 1900. During Spanish time, Fort Victoria as a Spanish stone fort in Iligan City, it was washed away by a destructive flood in 1916. It stood on the eastern bank of the Iligan River in the general area where PNB now stands. Under the Spanish colonial administration, Iligan was originally inhabited by people who were called either Tagabaybay, the coastal dwellers, Tagailaya, or Tagabukid. These early inhabitants of Iligan are known today Higaunons. One sunny morning in April 1900, Captain Smith of American troops arrived in the placid waters of Iligan Bay and he was welcomed by Capitan Hilarion Ramiro with open arms. Gifts were distributed to the people and on that day, 400 sacks of rice and hundreds of boxes of canned goods were given away. Immediately after their arrivals in Iligan, Captain Smith established a government of a new regime and put up a small military detachment a few kilometers south of the town and named Camp Overton. And this was used as the base of American military operations against the so-called Mindanao Moros in 1900. The Americans were very friendly to the Iliga Unons and the latter understood that no harm was intended to them. In fact, they looked to the Americans for protections against the attacks of the Moros. Because of this, the people willingly recognized the United States sovereignty over them. American colonization played an important role in the development and progress of Iligan City. In the census of 1939, Iligan's population had increased to 28,373 and this population increase from 1903 to 1939 could be attributed to the developments that occurred during the American occupation as peace and order conditions improved. Added to this were the opening of the more roads and wharves and the arrival of modern transportation and communication facilities. Thus, more migrants from other places of the country came to Iligan. There were public investments such as opening of the more roads and telephone lines. In economic development, among the many Iliganon farm owners were Mr. Carlo Ong. He was a Chinese who had a large sugarcane plantation located in Tambo and Tibanga. Aside from the cultivation of export crops on the large scale, the Americans also promoted trade and commerce in Iligan.
In 1918, there were already big establishments mostly open along Commercial Street, now Quezon Avenue. In 1920s, Iligan had already experienced modernization. Mr. Shecker had put up a land transportation company. So did Mr. Contasio Harriols. Hotels, restaurants, big stores, and lodging houses were also open. Mr. Subiri, a Spanish business, put up a big store near the pier. It attracted visitors from other places who came to Iligan because of his delicious homemade sardines, which became Iligan's special delicacy. In politics, Leon Fernandez was appointed first president of Iligan when Hilarion Ramiro's firm ended in 1900. Iligan had its first election in 1922 for the office of the president. In this election, the candidates for president were George Ramiro Sr. and Rafael Villena. George Ramiro Sr. won as Iligan's president over his opponent Rafael Villena. In Japanese era, the Japanese invaded Iligan on May 5, 1942. The Japanese occupation force numbering about 400 to 500 soldiers did not meet any fierce resistance because the demoralized use of the soldiers had already left. The guerrilla movement started when Pedro Andres refused to heed orders to surrender. With the help of other patriotic individuals, Andres organized a guerrilla band and established their headquarters at the Wag Santa Filomena. Alarmed that the movement could grow into a real threat, the Japanese military force sent two troops for the first time since the resistance movement was organized. The guerrillas defeated by the Japanese forces. In modern time, Iligan City as the industrialized city is intertwined with the National Power Corporation. Iligan operate and maintain power plant, auxiliary plants, dams, reservoir for the purpose of developing hydraulic power from any river, creek, lake in Iligan City. The Lake Agos River system straddles from the provinces of Lano del Norte and Lano del Sur and it supplies high energy stream with hydroelectric potentials of 944 megawatts when fully tapped. In 1950, Iligan became a chartered city, the first electoral contest to choose Iligan's first elective mayor, vice mayor and six members of the city council was held in 1955, the late congressman Mariano Badelias became the first elected mayor of the Iligan city. Known to be the city of Iligan majestic waterfalls, Iligan city has 23 waterfalls surrounding it. The most famous is the Maria Cristina Falls, which is the main source for hydroelectric power in the whole Mindanao region. Other famous falls good for vacationers are the Tinago Falls, accessible through a 300-step staircase, Mimbalot Falls, Abaga Falls, Dojongan Falls, and the Timuga Springs. A month-long celebration is usually held every the 29th day of the month of September. This festival is for the honor of of their patron saint Miguel the Archangel, whom they regard as the protector from evil.